good morning let's go through the second law proposed by kirchhoff that is a kirchhoff's voltage law it is also known as kvl kirchhoff's voltage law KVL helps us to calculate the voltages at various points in a network. KVL helps us to calculate the voltages at various points, various points in an electrical network. Let's go through the statement of KVL. KVL states that KVL states that in any closed electrical circuit, in any closed electrical circuit, the algebraic sum of sum of all EMF, all EMFs and voltage drops. in resistors is equal to zero this is a basic statement of kirchhoff's voltage law that is in any closed electrical circuit the algebraic sum of all emfs or voltage sources and voltage drops in the resistors connected is zero this law actually relates this law actually relates the voltage drops and emfs in a circuit it relates the voltage drops and EMF, EMFs in a closed circuit. Let us consider an example of a closed electrical circuit that is as shown. This is a sequential and let us consider a series electrical circuit consisting of two resistors R1 and R2. Let E be the source EMF, the potent voltage of the EMF be E. This is the positive side and this is negative side. Let R1 be the first resistor and R2 be the second resistor. We know that this is a closed electrical circuit and electric current will flow through it. Let us consider the direction of electric current is clockwise direction. That is I is flowing in clockwise direction. And then according to Kirchhoff's law, Kirchhoff's voltage law, we know that the algebraic sum of the EMF source, that is algebraic sum E and the drop in resistors is equal to 0. That is drop in R1 and R2 plus E is equal to 0. Let us now let us analyze the drops in R1 and R2. From Ohm's law, we have drop, voltage drop V is equal to I into R. From Ohm's law, we have voltage drop V is equal to I into R. Now let us assign signs for the drop and then we have to determine the signs for the drop. Therefore, in order to determine the all total algebraic sum, we have to define the sign of the drops. Therefore, in order to determine the sign of the drop, we are taking the we are following the convention that positive sign is assigned to positive sign is assigned to a voltage rise. Positive sign is assigned to a voltage rise, whereas negative sign is assigned to a voltage drop. Therefore, considering this circuit, we know that current I flow in clockwise direction. That is, current I flow through R1 from this point to this point. That is, R1 current I flow from this point to this point. We know that electric current always flow from a higher potential to lower potential. That is, electric current flow from this point to this point means this point is a higher potential, whereas this point is a lower potential. So, there occurs a fall in potential. That is, actually, the potential fall from first point to second point. Therefore, we have to assume a negative sign for the voltage drop occurring in R1. Therefore, voltage drop in R1, Vr1 can be given by the expression minus IR1. Similarly, if current I flow from uh, through resistor R2 from this point to this point, that is this point is higher potential point and this point is a lower potential point. Therefore, we can given the represent the voltage drop in R2 as minus IR2. Minus IR2. 
therefore then according to Kirchhoff's law we can write the algebraic sum of the EMF EMF and the voltage drops IR1 minus IR2 is equal to 0 this is a total uh, representation of Kirchhoff's voltage or this can be also represented as E minus VR1 minus VR2 is equal to 0 that is also equivalent to E is equal to VR1 plus we are two e is equal to we are one plus we are two that is the total applied em of is equal to the total voltage drop sum of the voltage drop of the in the two resistors this law is also known as which was voltage law is also known as loop rule this law is also known as loop rule or mesh rule this law is also known as loop rule or mesh rule because it explains the characteristics of an electric loop that is according to the statement in a closed electrical circuit or a mesh the algebraic sum of our emf and voltage drop in resistors is equal to zero or it can be also represented as the sum of emf is equal to the sum of voltage drop across various resistors in a closed circuit so this is a basic explanation for kirchhoff's voltage law